The president of Fisk University speaking up after a restraining order against him is granted. News 4 obtained court documents claiming he and another man had a sexual relationship and he later sent threats to that man. Joshua Cole is following the story tonight. We are now learning that he is being placed on leave from the university, Joshua. Hey there, that's exactly right. Yeah, I just spoke with university officials here and they say that Dr. Kevin Rome Sr. is being placed on leave, but they can't comment further about the incident because they say that it's not school related. But we have the restraining order that was filed against Dr. Rome and it says that he is accused of drugging and threatening a man he met on an app. Now, we got a statement from his attorney and they say that they will fight the accusations because they're false. The order says the victim and Dr. Kevin Rome Sr. had a sexual relationship between May and early August after meeting through the app Grinder. The alleged victim says he knew the university's president by the name Rob. This is part of the order News 4 obtained claiming the victim was fearful. In it, the alleged victim says he was drugged by Rome on one occasion. Then in June, his apartment was broken into and destroyed by sewage. He then says he was approached by a man who told him to stay away from his people and threatened to kill him if he continued to date black men. The alleged victim believes all of these instances stemmed from Rome. Rome's attorney tells News 4 in a statement saying he categorically denies the allegations and he plans to fight the case in court and clear his good name, noting these are civil accusations and that, quote, Dr. Rome is more concerned for his family, friends and the community at Fisk University for any harm they're experiencing. Rome moved to Nashville in 2017 when he was selected as Fisk University's 16th president. Yeah, we tried to reach out to the alleged victim, but did not hear back. And if you go over to the News 4 app right now, you'll be able to see the full statement from Fisk University as well as Dr. Rome's attorney.